I'm just gonna crack open a nice cold one for the boys this morning. That was for you boys. Dude, I don't know how, I don't know how he did it, but my garage is already disgusting. We're gonna have to make another video of, of organizing it again or something like that, because this is not, this is not okay. Like you saw a few videos ago, when we fully detailed the SRT8, we figured out it's got a few flaws. And we're gonna go get this fixed today. Like for one, got the nice um, Compton style freaking bullet hole in the tail light. Mr. Mans was probably just mowing his lawn and a rock just went in there. But we also figured out that uh, does have some hail damage and we found out that it's got a few, I don't know. The, we found out that it might have a few more things than the Carfax or the history um, actually showed. So we wanna figure out what actually is, uh, is going on with this car today and man mm, I just want to let you guys know if you guys ever wanted to rain and the and the way to summon rain is to spend all freaking day detailing a car because guess what's gonna happen it's gonna get dirty immediately it's gonna rain it, it rained all weekend just because I detailed this car oh yeah heck yeah Woo! Uh, and there's a okay that's fine I just wanted to go fast I think we average about 17 or 18 miles a gallon on this bad boy. That's what you get when you get a big old 6.4 liter V8. This lady behind us is like half over the line. Woman, I'm doing what I can. I got people in front of me. It's like she's like, I, I know she's yelling at me right now. She's mad at me, but I'm not doing nothing. I want to go fast. I'm trying to go fast too, but I can't go fast. And as she's trying to like get around me on the shoulder, I dare you to pass me on the shoulder. You won't. You literally won't. I'm trying to get an exhaust for this thing. I'm trying to get some big old 22s maybe for the car. I also need to get new tires. A bunch of stuff I need to get. Maybe some bags. I don't know. All this need for speed driving reminds me that um, <laughs> this Saturday, this is going to be the, I think the only time this summer I'm going to be able to do it. But uh, we will be at Cars and Coffee in Plano. Let's hope to see you guys there. And who, whomst ever brings me a white twisty cat monster is MVP. I forgot my wallet in the car. I forgot my wallet. Let's go. I gotta go back. Six pistons are great, but dude, legit just clean. Okay, just cleaned. Dude, you can't have nice things when you have nice things. Up, up. Ripperino. Rip, 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 rip. Oh, do they have my license plate cover? They do. I gotta get my LOL at your V8 cover and put it on my Miata to make people angry. Whoo! <sighs> Reno, dude. I've heard a lot of, I mean, obviously people are test driving it if you want to buy it. But I've heard that people, I had subscribers that work around here and people have said that they've been ripping it up and down the street and revving it a lot. So, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm hoping they uh, are warming up the motor because Ford's internals. If not, you can say goodbye to motor number two. So you have some spares. Perfect. Cool. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken one. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's for him. What's yeah. his name? Pablo. 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 You work across the street. Thanks for watching the vlogs. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one for the boys. This one's for you guys. Somebody, somebody really messed this one up. How the heck? Where did the uh? Dude, did somebody just jack the freaking access port mount? Dude, I think somebody straight jacked it, dude. Somebody stole it. Yo, for anybody who's trying to come here and test drive this, I'm just letting you know it's got a fully forged motor. So before you rip on it, if you're trying to buy it, if you're trying to do anything with it, make sure that this right here on the access port, make sure that coolant temp is about 160 to 170 degrees. Because, um... Enough, I don't I don't miss it that much yeah it's kind of sad actually but I'm still gonna do it for the boys we're still gonna do one just rip a good one for the boys I'm actually kind of I'm more upset that this somebody stole the backing to this than anything on this oh this is really funny yeah this is really weird as most of you guys know I I kind of just like I didn't drive this car for like three months at one point in time. So this car was, I obviously already kind of detached myself from this thing mentally. Um, but now it's detached from me financially. <laughs> so it wasn't really a big deal. A lot of people were like, oh man, yeah, like, yeah. I probably lost a couple 11 year olds to that video. But you know, it really wasn't as, as, as hard of a thing for me to do as I thought it would be. 
this this was my baby. I just can't. I also I can't believe this was my baby for like five years. I've been this thing for a long time. I'm just, I'm just gonna putt around in the parking lot a little bit real quick. Mm. Yeah, I really I really hope people warm this car up before they started revving it because it's no bueno. I wish we could race it. What if we could race this car on the Jeep? I don't think they'd let us do that, but uh, that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, they, they did. Um, I just want to give a huge shout out to them and say huge thanks to them. Um, they are fixing the Jeep to its entirety, so we're really we're really psyched about that. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of I kind of did miss the Subi rumble. Did you did you miss this at all? This this noise. But we're gonna make my car sound like that. That's true. We're gonna have a big bad V8 sound going on. Uh, after this motor gets warmed up, I'm gonna do a good rip for the boys. Crack, crack open a ring land for the boys. Uh, that's You're a good so one. funny. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> crack open a good ring land for the boys. It's a meme. It's a meme, babe. Did kind of miss the turbo sound, but well, I guess I'll have that again once we finish my SC300. I really miss having the turbos. But I'll have two of them. Oh, this dude, this, this lady almost hit me. What is with Mercedes drivers today? You keep saying lady, but the last one was a dude. It was a dude. It was an Asian though, so it's almost, it's pretty equivalent. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. It's okay, the boys understand. I'm not racist or sexist. Mike would be proud. If I if I made fun of an Asian driver, Mike Wen would be proud. Here we go. Crack open a ring lamp for the boys. I'll make sure I'll make sure to tell them be like yo if you guys let anybody test drive this by the way make sure that the car's warmed up yeah I, I mean cuz I honestly like I I don't want them to, to, lose money. to lose money and stuff like that I want people I want the next buyer to be happy with the car too like I don't want some some kid who watches the channel to come here and blow up the car and then them not know about it so I'll, I'll let them know I'll, I'll give them the ins and out you boys gonna you boys gonna make it right You already know. I know. You're so good at this. You're so good at this. Okay, well, what's going on here? I don't think anybody's there. Nobody's there. Nobody is there? Nobody's there. I'd back up and go left. <laughs> Dude, you know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna close the door. Don't do, don't touch somebody else's car. Evan, Michael. <laughs> what you gonna do? Hmm? You won't fight me. You gonna fight me for it? You gonna fight me because I did that? Catch me outside. Catch me outside. Don't catch these hands. Actually, I'm not gonna. That's, don't catch these hands. I don't. I don't, I don't beat her, guys. <sighs> bye, boys. One more. Oh. Bye, boys. Everybody say bye. Everybody say goodbye. Okay, so that's awesome. We got. Um, we're gonna get the SRT8 taken care of. The dings. We're gonna be back to no ding squad. We're currently ding squad all over the roof, but we're gonna go back to no ding squad. Evidently, it was supposed to have been fixed. And it wasn't, and I guess they just they didn't know about it. Shout out to my boy, my boy here for hooking me up. Also, I really just um, I kind of kind of miss my Subi, dude. I miss my Subaru, dude. Thank you. No, I don't actually. Yeah. This this thing is so awesome. It's I just don't even I don't even bat an eye, dude. It's it's good. But we do need to get an exhaust. We need to get some we need to get, we need to get some fun stuff for this thing. But I gotta I gotta resist doing turbos and superchargers. <laughs> Team Huffman with the port 944 Turbo S, GT3 and Shelby GT500. Dang, son. Let's let's give him a good flyby. Can we give him a good flyby? Just yeah. Okay, so I have another question. Does anybody know? Can you see it? What that little car thing is? It goes between orange. There we go. Orange and green. And I can't find. Anything. It's probably telling me I'm too close to the car in front of me. No, that's Watch. my job. So what is it? I keep finding or trying to find information everywhere and I can't find it. Since we have to drop this car off on, we're dropping this car off on Saturday to get all the paint and stuff, like get all the PDR and stuff done on the top, we will be actually taking both vehicles 
to Cars and Coffee. And we're gonna try our best to get there super, super early. Let me know what time I need to get there. I haven't been to Dallas, I go to the car, Dallas Cars and Coffee like once a year. And I feel like every year you have to get there an hour, an hour, an hour earlier every single year to actually get into the event. So let me know what time I need to be at the event to get both of these cars into the event. I would love for you guys to be able to see both of them. I'm gonna take the SRT8 and then obviously the little Yachter Z. We're gonna be taking that. Did we get our package by the way? The comes up too. Oh dang. We got a big package coming. You'll see, you'll see what it is tomorrow with tomorrow's video. But we're gonna be um, in a couple of days we're gonna be detailing this Miata again. So if you like the detailing video on this car, you're gonna get it again on this car. It's gonna be a little easier. We're just gonna crack open a cold laptop for the boys. So as I said earlier, I am looking at getting wheels. I really want wheels, really want exhaust. I really, really, really want air suspension for the SRT. So I've been sitting here and emailing some stuff. This is kind of what I do on the daily as well. I mean, when I'm not editing, when I'm not filming, I'm kind of like emailing people, working on stuff. We actually have another something, something, something that we're working on as well. That's why we didn't, that's why you guys didn't have, that's why you guys had two days where I didn't upload. One day I was resting. Yesterday I was working on something that I haven't told you guys about yet. Actually, I actually did tell you on Snapchat, but anyways, it doesn't matter. So I'm working right now. I'm talking with a company about wheels, seeing if I can get some some nice some nice 22s, and then I'm also just I also just emailed the company um, about getting some some baggage. But I also don't know how the uh, the the Jeep suspension or the SRT8 suspension is kind of weird. I think that it has factory air suspension, like not like kind of air suspension, but it has air in the struts. So I don't really know. I don't know if they make air suspension for, but we're gonna try and figure it out. If not, I would like to look up some lowering springs or something like that to get it a little bit lower because it kind of needs it a lot. And I also need tires really badly. This is just, oh, and, and an air oil separator. That's what I'm gonna look for right now. Cherokee, Cherokee. JLT. I wonder if like IAG makes a good one. I guess, not, I guess I don't really need an AOS. Probably need like a catch can. If you guys know a good catch can, let me know because I need to do that so we can so we don't blow up the SRT8 because ev evidently the Hemi's are really bad about uh, getting oil vapor in the intakes, which doesn't really hurt the car that much, but it can hurt the longevity of the motor. And I want to make sure we make this motor last as long as possible. And I actually I figured out why you can't rev past 3,500 RPMs at idle, or yeah, when you're like you're in park is Hemi's, because if you don't know what a Hemi is, Hemi means it's a hemispherical a cylinder head. Um, evidently, because of that design, you, uh, you actually can have, it's called rod stretch. So if you rev too much without load in the motor, you can actually stretch out the rods because the cylinder heads can like, I guess, go up higher than normal. It, it's it's kind of interesting. But if you guys know any good, uh, any AOSs or or catch cans to get for the Cherokee. Let us know, cause we're gonna get it. Oh, well. that's a little bit goals right there. Actually, I'm doing more research now, and it looks like it's gonna be really hard to lower this Jeep. But we'll, dude, we'll, we'll figure it out, boys. I wanna, maybe we'll just have to get a custom bag kit made. She doesn't know how expensive that is. I'll just put on the good, the good Nomads. Ready to go? I just want to lower this thing, dude. Why is it gonna be so difficult to lower it? I just want, just want to be slammed, dude. I just want to be. I just want to tickle the pavement. We are going to finally. Hey, they have a tire over there. We just use that one. That's I don't know what that was about, but I'm finally about to go set up a PO box for you guys out there. So I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to send me some stuff. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I tried to get one before I left for Boston. But I couldn't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna launch at this stoplight because oh, we have to beat. We have to beat the the merge. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna wreck you, boy. Oh, oh, oh! And we actually are too fast for the next light. Try this again. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna crack open a cold one for the boys. Just a good key. Oh, to 233. Let's see if we have anything yet. Oh man, you guys hate me. All right, fine. Got it. If you guys need the address to this place, it's PO Box number two three three, and I'll put the uh, the address is flashing on the screen at you right now. Just just look at that, write it down. Whatever you gotta do, it's also in the description. Every dang time I have a video now, so you guys send me some stuff. So there's 
a cowboy in a convertible bug. That's pretty dope. He has a cowboy hat on and everything. Hey man, he's just trying to get it, you know? He's trying to plow some wheat, maybe crack up in a few cold ones with the boys. And it, but you know, it doesn't matter what he's in, okay? Just because he wants to drive a slow Volkswagen doesn't mean he's still not a cowboy. He's, you know, I keep driving by every day. Like this thing just got here. I don't know whose it is. It brought us clean. I like that. We got a package. Oh my God, dude. That is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of boxes, dude. You guys will figure out what this is tomorrow. The, the, the FedEx guy who dropped this off, legit just, he, I open the door and he looks at me and goes, <laughs> it's like, oh, huh, you guys got to deal with all these boxes now. I don't. This is heavy. <laughs> That's right. He's going to slide it. Oh, it's so heavy. The box is already like half broken. Oh. Oh, I better just leave the other one on the porch. Nobody's gonna steal that. Oh. I understand why the nice man in the FedEx uniform was laughing now. Just, just gonna take a nap, dude. So, just gonna take a nap. I'll, I'll talk to you later, Victoria. I'm just gonna take a nap. Well, if you're trying to figure out what your boy just got in the mail, I guess you're gonna have to wait. So tomorrow's video, it's gonna be so good. We're gonna work on the meal a little bit. We're gonna clean up the garage a little bit more and then we're gonna unbox whatever two heck I just got there, which you'll see tomorrow. It, it, oh my gosh, it is going to be awesome. I hope you're enjoying. Well, I guess I can't really say enjoy the daily vlogs because it's been a few, it's been a little while since I've done daily vlogs, but daily vlogs are gonna start over again. Again, I am going to be at the Dallas Cars and Coffee this weekend, Plano Cars and Coffee, whatever you guys wanna say. Remember to send me some stuff to the P.O. box if you want. I pay, for, I pay for that for you guys. If you want to send me stuff, whatever it is, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a letter, whether it's a sticker of my face, I don't care. Send it to me. I love you guys. Peace out and be victorious. Fruto, you best, you best send me some, some stuff, bro. Shoot, bro. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, I got that swag right now. Oh my, oh my God, bro. You got to see the swag. <laughs> Victoria, you all got that swag. Check it out.